All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the transmission drain and refill service on a 2016 um, Vince, Vinsa. Guess right, I'm saying it right. It's a Toyota Vinsa or Vinsa. Sorry, I had like two of these models that came in. Vinsa, because I had one that the newer model that came in the other day was a Vinsa. All right, so. Um, I already started a little bit. I just only took off the tire and got it leveled up. Um, now you need to have the car literally leveled. Um, you cannot have it tilted or anything. We have to have this leveled. So I'm gonna show you jacking up spots. Um, if you wanna jack up the front right here where this little notch is, you can actually lift up the car from there, but make sure you have your emergency brakes and you really need to be on a level surface. You cannot be on a hill or anything. Um, cause obviously the, the car will either roll back or you will get a, a miss reading on the um, transmission when you're doing the transmission service. So, um, also if you can't, if you don't have a high enough jack from right there, so what you can do is you can either jack it up from the subframe or right here where this bolt is at. Same thing for the opposite side. Um, and if you want, you can put your jack stands right here on the subframe, or you can do it on the pinch welds. I don't like doing it on the pinch welds. The pinch welds are literally meant for a lift. Um, well, now that I got a lift and I've upgraded, well, here I am, but it's a good use. Now for the back, um, basically, if you wanna lift it right here, you have a notch, so you can lift it up from right here and then you can put your jack stands actually at the pinch wells themselves. Um, or you can actually put it on the subframe. As long as you can get your jack stands pretty high enough. Where else can we get these bad boys at? Let's see. Uh, I think that's pretty much the only spot. So those ones will definitely be at the pinch wells. <coughs> um, other than that, if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're gonna go ahead and start this video right after the intro. All right, so first things first, 19 millimeters, um, taking off your lug nuts, there's five of them, or not 19, 21 millimeters. So we got those taken off. All right, next thing what we need to go ahead and do is we need to take off this plastic cover. So we have one, two, 10 millimeters, and then this cover should slide right off. I'm not gonna show that, so we'll just take those two off. All right, now that we got both of those bolts off, this should just, again, slide right out. Uh, there might be one more bolt, or there's this little tab right here. You can see it. So you guys can see that. Just push that one in. You can use a screwdriver, a pick, whatever. You can just let it hang. That pushes in. And then from there, it should just come right up on out. We'll try not to break the tab. All right. I think I lost the piece. Probably went in. If not, well, you can replace it. Not the end of the world. All right. So here is our fill plug right there. And so now we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom and we're going to start draining. All right, so still on the driver's side, we're still here at the transmission. Um, so coming from driver's side wheel right over here on our pan, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. So now that we know where we're at, we're going to use a six millimeter Allen or hex head. So you can get one of these at your local auto parts store. We're going to go ahead and loosen that. There's two screws inside here are bolts. So we have one right here and then we have another one. It's called the fill tube screw. And so we're gonna go ahead and take both of those out. I think this one's, we can take that one out if I remember correctly. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, um, also before you start this process, before you drain it, just so you know, um, or fill it, is I would like the car to be very cold. You know, if you let it sat for Overnight, whatever, four or five hours, that's great. That'll be the best time to check it. Um, because you're gonna need a scanner to do this. If you don't have a scanner, um, here's another method I can show you, but it's not gonna be the correct way. Um, you can do like, if you don't have any leaks, what you can do is drain it out and then go ahead and fill it back up. Um, you really need a, a scanner for this, but I've done it the other way where I didn't use a scanner and I, I measured like, 
I did use a scanner, but I still measured the amount of fluid that I put in as versus take out, and they're pretty much ideal just to help you out, guide you through that part. So I'm gonna have a container right here on the bottom to catch the fluid, and we're gonna see how much comes out from a drain and fill. Every car will be a little bit different, just so you know. All right, so again, um, this is Lefty Lucy. So we're gonna go counterclockwise. So all right, so we got that. So let's go ahead and take this off. Now try to have your container as close as possible. So you see how right now we're draining it. The fluid's not that old. The car literally only has about 50,000 miles. All right, so we'll, as that's draining, we'll go ahead and um, get back to the video. I think there's like, I don't even know what size is the other plug. Let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll just let it drain until, I don't wanna make it a mess or anything. So as soon as that's done, we'll go ahead and get back to the video. All right, so now that we got that going in, or semi, we just have only drifts right now. So we're gonna put, again, our Allen. So kind of measure the depth that it is in. So when you take it out, so all right, so we're gonna count the rotation. So we're gonna go one. I'm not gonna count rotations. Let's see. Okay, because I think this was like a hairline loose. So still, you don't wanna over torque these. Once we take off that little fill screw, fluid should start coming out. As you can see, it's starting to show its head right there. Okay, so we have it off. So. Gonna go ahead and go. All right. See how clean that fluid is. I mean, dude, this fluid's still clean, but at least I'm happy that she's staying on top of her maintenance. This is the little plastic piece that we just took out. So literally, it does not. As you can see, I did not use a tool, a tool, Lefty Lucy, and all that. So, and then we'll just go ahead and wait for the remaining fluid to come on out. All right, so here is the amount of oil. So I'm gonna get a light so you guys can see. So it's about like two quarts. All right, so here's the container we dropped the fluid into. And so as you can see, we have about two quarts, two liters. So right around there, that's what came out. Now I know that seems kind of low, but that's actually what comes out. I think the whole system for drain and refill, I think it's like 6.9 quarts, about seven quarts. So it's a really small setup. It's nothing too big, but um, again, this is why I like to measure to see what comes out and well, let's go ahead and put everything back together. All right. So right now we're going to go ahead and get our, our, our little fill tube and then we'll just go ahead and fill that up. And just like that, we're just going to go ahead and thread it in by hand. Now, what do you say about the oil filter or the transmission filter? Now, seriously, I mean, we can do that at 100K um, if the customer wanted to, but literally the customer just literally wanted to do a drain and refill. Um, all right, so we should get there. As soon as it fills snug. All right, as soon as like it stopped, that's it. Probably just go a little bit more and that is it. All right, so normally you'd replace this crush washer. Um, you'd get another one. I'm gonna use a um, washer, a copper washer, so I'm gonna grab that. So I'm actually gonna reuse my crush washer. Um, I don't have it, but if it starts leaking, well, I'm gonna go ahead and address it, so we'll find out. We're gonna go ahead and clean up our area. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off our fill plug. And then this one is a 24 millimeter. So this one should not be on there too tight. I thought I was actually gonna, normally these guys get stuck on there. If you have any dirt, try to clean around your area. Um, this is 36 foot pounds torque. And then the fill, the, the drain plug is 30 foot pounds. So this this plug, when you, when you put it back together, it's gonna be 36 foot pounds. And then the bottom one, that's right here, that's gonna be 30 foot pounds. Um, I'm gonna have to take off the bottom. 
and so forth so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and take off the bottom and then we'll get right back to the video so we're gonna go ahead and fill up with two but i will take off this drain plug and then we'll just kind of get an idea of how it's gonna leak but you're supposed to actually take this off until it starts leaking out and then you you go ahead and, and close it and then from there you'll start the car um so yeah so let me go ahead and get this sucked up and then we'll get right back to the video all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this in here and then i'll go ahead and take off the drain plug We'll just set that to the side and then we'll just go ahead and start filling up. All right, so you see how it's starting to leak? I haven't even reached my two quarts. So we're gonna go ahead and close it because I don't wanna waste all this fluid. And still, as you can see, I have about half a quart left. So um, this is not my full on two quarts, by the way. And it already started leaking out at a quart. So, but I still know we're two quarts short. This is one reason why I like to measure, um, just to be on the safe side. And that being said, we just have like a, maybe like an ounce or two lost over. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. So I have it snug down. And then I'll just have this right here just for the time being. And then we're going to go inside the vehicle and start it. So we're going to go ahead and go into transmission. And this is a 2014, by the way. Um, so we are a two wheel drive. And let's go to data display. Actually, I just want to kind of do a little check mode. Just want to see something. Oh, no. System test. Okay, no. Sorry, I'm just kind of just want to see some things before I go in. Okay, cool. So, just in case if there was like a little testing procedure or transmission procedure, uh, check then. Yeah. All right, so we need to get our, our temperature for our transmission. So, we have a coolant temp. And we need a transmission temp. Um, so the coolant temperature, we're not looking for. We're actually looking for the transmission. So usually it is AT oil temperature. So we're at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we want to look for. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car. And, and from there, we're going to go ahead and go down below. And then we'll wait for this. Um, there's a specified time to check the oil. And then we'll go ahead and get to that. I'm actually going to go top it off right now. All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take off the drain plug right now. And I just kind of want to see if it leaks. Let me just clean up our area. And if it does leak, then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up. So as you see, it's dripping. Like, well, not even a drip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and top it off. Uh, right now, I might as well just do it. You're actually supposed to top it off at a certain degrees, but I know we're a little bit short, so kind of happy that we did the measurement. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off our upper fill plug. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the remaining fluid Now we'll just kind of do it in slow. So right there we got a couple drips. I'm gonna add a little bit more fluid because I feel like we're just a hairline low. Well, as you can see it right there, I'll show it right now. But let me go ahead and just fill this back up. All right, so I got a little bit, about like a little quarter of an ounce in here. Looks like a little bit more, but let's go ahead and take back off this drain plug. And I know we're supposed to check this out at a certain temperature. 
think it's anywhere from 95 to 113. That's where we're supposed to check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it up. So nothing's dripping out right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in our drain plug. Maybe we're a low to begin with. I don't know. So we'll go ahead and wait out. Um, I know we're about like two quarts and a quarter of a quart. So, all right, so here's the temperature. It's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So once that gets about at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna go ahead and check that. All right, so ATF fluid is at 97 degrees Fahrenheit, and I want you to show you my coolant temperatures at 181 degrees Fahrenheit. So you see the complete difference in that? So I just wanna make sure you guys see that. We need to go by that. Now let's say if you don't have the scanner, um, I believe you can actually get a temperature gun. Um, no, sorry about my mess, don't mind it. Ah, temperature gun, right here. So I think this one works. Battery's kind of dead. So let's look at the temperature. So this one like re measures at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's about like five degrees off. So, which is pretty ideal. Well, we're at seven now, so. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Sorry I'm about the whole movement. I just wanna make sure I'm on this pretty precise. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And if fluid starts coming out, we want it to drip out. We don't want it to pour out, we want it to drip out. So you see that right there? That was that little extra amount that I added in. So you just keep adding it. Once it gets like that, and then once we start dripping, careful with your eyes so I'm okay with that with that kind of drip I don't know if you guys can see that pretty well so this kind of drip I'm perfectly fine with um, so I'll go ahead it's just probably like a lit like it's still in the full section so we are good so as long as it's in the drip so let's go ahead and add our drain plug Clean up your area, clean up this area, clean up that area, and go ahead and close up everything and so forth. Um, again, 36 foot pounds, 30 foot pounds to tighten down. And one thing to note, I already got on the plate and the cover. So one thing to note is as you're putting down these lug nuts, this piece right here, if you don't have the wheel centered, it could actually bottom out on the actual rim instead of going through the rim. So just want to make sure you guys note that and then you tighten down this in the start pattern. So basically we would go one, two, three, four, and then five right over there. So just so you get it. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're gonna go on our first test drive. So we'll see how it is and so forth. Let's get this a little bit adjusted. So, all right, cool, everything feels good. All right, I like it. I'm happy with it. And that's it, nothing to complain about. Um, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.